In order to apply estimated indirect costs, you must first confirm that your projects have been validated. You can check this by looking at the application task for completion grid on the application summary page. On the line that says projects validated, the status column should say completed. Next, click on the related actions dashboard. Keep in mind that the estimated indirect costs must be applied before validating and transmitting your application to FTA. If you attempt to validate your application without adding estimated indirect costs, you will get a validation error prompting you to do so. I will close out of this and go back to the related actions menu. Click on the apply estimated indirect costs related action. A grid will list each funding source used on the application along with the total FTA amount for that funding source. On the right hand side of the grid, you will notice an applied column. It displays a red circle with an X in the middle. This means estimated indirect costs have not been applied. Click in the checkbox next to the funding source name. The grid will open to display the line items using that funding source. You can enter the estimated indirect cost amount in the estimated indirect cost amount field. If you attempt to enter a number that is greater than the total FTA amount, you will get an error message that says the estimated indirect cost amount may not exceed the FTA funding amount. Enter an appropriate number that is less than the FTA amount. If there are no estimated indirect costs to apply, you can also enter zero. Click the Save button to save the amount. You'll notice that the Applied column will now display a green circle with a check mark in it. Finally, click the Complete button to exit the module and be taken back to the Related Actions menu.